welcome back everyone to my channel and that is my horrible Dutch accent uh, I'm bad at it I'm already struggling with my own accent but I was trying to do the Dutch accent because this time around I did a caricature sketch of one of my favorite uh, startup commentators who happens to be Dutch as well a local TV so uh, let's see how that worked out shall we so I don't just draw industrial design related drawings, I also like to draw everything else, mainly I like to learn uh, the human body. I got into drawing because I loved the comic books and I really wanted to draw humans, but I am not that good at it, but it doesn't stop me from drawing them, uh, especially faces. I try to do as many studies as I can to get better at drawing faces. Uh, caricatures are something interesting because uh, it's semi in the family, my cousin and my aunt. Uh, and also my uncle, they uh, do uh, caricatures quite often, but I feel I feel there's, there's really something uh, special to drawing caricatures. Uh, people who are good at drawing caricatures, they can really capture those features uh, that need to be exaggerated and then they can work on it quite easily. For me, that doesn't come so easy, to be honest. Uh, here I also um, did, I think, three uh, different versions. Uh, I'm on the second one at the moment, but there's going to be a third one as well, just to try to see which which proportions I could uh, blow up and which proportions I could exaggerate or, or, or make smaller. It's actually quite interesting look, looking at the facial features, what's what's worth uh, changing and what is what you really have to keep. With Loco here, uh, he actually has a big forehead, so I should have gone for that one. Uh, and that's why actually I like the, the second caricature that I had quite a bit, but I noticed that, okay, I want to do the big forehead. And for some reason, I did this one and I thought the forehead is big, but looking back at it, I, I really barely, barely changed it. And obviously it doesn't look him at all. With these, with these sketches, I, in the beginning, I don't capture it that well. Uh, the, the proportions and the like, uh, not likability, the word is lookalikeness, I guess. <laughs> but I don't capture that so well. But I still try, and uh, here I decided to go back to the second one. There was something about the second one that he had really exaggerated features, and actually it's the opposite of, of what his head looks like, because it's a little bit tapered downwards, and he doesn't have that big of a chin, but I decided to go for a giant chin and also a giant jawline, which he doesn't have, so... Eh, interesting for me anyways. What I like to draw really, really a lot are eyes. Uh, the reflections and, and, and the darkness and all the things that you, you can see in human eyes, it's really, really fun to draw. And also what I noticed, even if my drawing is not so good or the likeliness is, is not there, if you capture those eyes nicely, people are just happy. And that's, that's a thing that if you draw, you will learn or you will have to learn that there are things that we're attracted to in, in pictures. And first of all, if you, you have an image, if there's a human form and a human face, your eyes will always be drawn to the face. If there's an image only of a face, the first thing that your eyes go towards are the eyes. So that's why it's quite important to catch, uh, capture the eyes well. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I like, like going for. So my style in general is very line heavy. I, I grew up drawing with pencil, pen, pencil on paper, and I never got into painting, to be honest. And that's why I heavily rely on lines. Unlike many of the people in, in the concept art industry, or painting, uh, people who are who paint, they can start out with values. So they don't draw the outlines or the lines of, of, of a thing, like of a face or of a humans. They go directly for values. And that is really hard for me. I, I always have to start out with lines. And most of the times I also stick with lines because I find it very hard to transition to values. So here, in the beginning, I really didn't see the, the uh, likeliness with um, Loco. And as I was going on, I started seeing, oh, okay, some of the, some of the parts of the, the mouth, something is there. Some of his, uh, um, how his skin is changing within his face due to his smile, something looks similar. And I decided, okay, let's, let's try and paint this out a little bit because just the line art in itself wasn't enough for me. And usually what I do, I paint below it and I went with um, uh, black and white, or I mean grays in this case, because color is a whole different beast that I didn't want to go into here. It's, 
color theory is really hard if you if you come from just drawing lines so it is fun obviously it is very fun but I think I did this drawing in two and a half hours all in all and it would have taken me much longer obviously if you if you have a good gray scale drawing uh, grayscale painting down you can just glaze over it with colors but uh, yeah in this case I was just happy to to try and do the, the grays themselves so what I do after I was done with uh, adding in all the shading uh, with the grays I decided that I want to take it a bit more towards a, a painterly style so what I do is I make a new layer and then I paint also on top of my lines still my lines are, are secure but just in a new player I, I start painting over it and I start blending some of those harsh darker black lines uh, in uh, obviously not it's not gonna work for all the outlines but you can see here quite nicely that I, I try taking away those super darks especially around his his uh, jawline I just made them a little bit more grayish so it works nicer with the, with the rest of the image uh, in the end I think I left the lips a little bit too dark compared to to, to his image especially it's, it almost looks like he has a little bit of lipstick on but yeah lips are not my strength to be honest but all in all I think uh, this one came out okay for 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 someone who's not really uh, specialized on, on drawing faces and most of all it was fun uh, I don't draw faces that often it really once once in a, in a quarter three to, to four months that I really feel like oh I want to draw a portrait now and put some more energy into it and uh, yeah loco I, I, I follow loco on, on YouTube and he has really nice content entertaining content and he's one of the most positive people on YouTube that I know and he always asks his uh, followers to, to keep on smiling and uh, I really liked it about him uh, when I saw that he uploaded a new profile picture I thought like oh this is a perfect opportunity to uh, just draw this guy and have, have some fun with him. Uh, also, one thing that you probably know about me if you follow my uh, second Instagram account is that I struggled a lot with drawing ladies, so I didn't even want to challenge myself with uh, drawing girls. So I just stuck with, uh, with a simple uh, drawing a simple male. Not that he's a simple male, that's not what I said. But yeah, it was, it was really just uh, fun drawing a, a, a caricature or... Um, portrait again it, it has been a while and uh, yeah i have a, had a lot of fun with this one so yeah i think that's uh, that's everything i had to say about this uh, little sketch of mine i uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, i hope you will enjoy also the rest of it it's, it's just, just gonna be just music and as always if you have any comments or questions please leave them leave them in the comment section below if you like this video and would like to see more, maybe consider subscribing. And if you'd like to see more updates from me, uh, you can uh, subscribe to my Instagram. Uh, and also I have a second Instagram, I'm gonna blend in that one as well, where I do more artsy fartsy stuff where I want to get better. So I try paintings and I try figure drawings and lady drawings and stuff like that. But as always, I wish you a great week and see you folks next time. Bye-bye.